I'm Michael Dufley. I'm Sarah Dufley. We're expecting a baby girl in November. We've been married for about two years, and we're going to give our thoughts on NFP. So we heard about NFP through two major sources. We found one through our family that had used it previously, and the second from our parish. Uh, we got given good information when we went through marriage prep. Uh, a whole bunch of it, actually. We, get, we got a huge range from anything from flyers to personal contact information, from act, medical personnel that are trained on it to different resources that we could use actively while we're pursuing pregnancy or trying to figure out the ins and outs of how we were going to run our whole thing and plan out our family. Um, we've got a rash of resources from local priests who are hyper trained on the whole thing and have way more information than I could have ever used uh, to local moms who wanted nothing more but to help us have a better communication system and a better marriage. So it's it's been a lot of really cool resources about it. And that's kind of how we figured out the whole thing. Um, I'm sure that those options are available online. We have a bunch of other people who are very knowledgeable in our parishes and our diocese. And if you're ever curious about it, there's more than enough. All you got to do is ask the right person. It's been a really big blessing in our marriage. I know for a lot of people, what you think of is, do we want to have kids right now? Which is a perfectly valid question. Um, however, I think that's kind of just the starting point for so why it's cool. been beautiful for our marriage. Um, I found that it starts a lot of conversations that you weren't expecting to have. Um, it helps you really develop your communication and get a lot closer. And your bodies are a big part of your marriage. Um, and I, when I was thinking about what I wanted to say today, I was thinking about the quote, to love and to be loved, to know and to be known, that is the essence of happiness. And I think that the tools that we've used in the conversations we've started and really, really just the idea of NFP being to get to know each other's bodies better has really kind of led us down a lot of pathways for who we are and what we wanted out of marriage and how we feel at particular times and what we're going through at particular times. And it really just really helps you appreciate the, uh, the person you're married to better. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I personally think it's a bit of a cheat code. I get to know what's going on with Sarah, how to better structure different things like dates, better, just better structure different things like important conversations to have. Uh, and it's a cheat code to know when I need to buy flowers and chocolate. It works out really good for me. Um, different times to be sweet, different times to have different conversations. It's been very helpful in, in very uh, unexpected situations for me. I've noticed that there's a lot of conversations that happen where they're happening in a more emotional state. And if we needed it to be a little bit different or we needed the, the topic of the conversation was a little bit more nuanced, we were able to um, sort of structure our lives around knowing each other better, knowing each other's emotional states better, knowing each other's different things that happen with NFP um, and different opportunities that would, that would present themselves. Uh, it's been super helpful for figuring out how to communicate about an intimacy, about how to be more intimate, about what intimacy looks like in the Catholic Church and how beautiful it can be. Um, it's certainly a resource that was somewhat controversial to me at first. I didn't really understand it. Uh, but the more and more I learned about it, the more I saw the beauty, just like everything in the church. It's another opportunity to look at life from a more beautiful perspective. I mean, functionally, we have beautiful bodies that we don't really understand. But the more and more I've learned about her, the more I've learned about my wife. National family planning for us has really helped us with a lot of things, especially considering the fact that we struggled early on with, uh, with fertility and pregnancy and different things. It's given us a lot of resources that made it a lot easier for her OBs to understand what the heck was going on. We certainly had to whole, learn a whole bunch throughout the whole process and figuring out the differences and nuances that it, that, that it had. Um, it's been a resource that's been invaluable toward getting actual care and getting not only just regular care that you would expect, but the high level care that uh, we needed. We came at it with a lot more resources. It also gave us a common language with the healthcare providers that we were seeing. And I was, we were able to bring them actual numbers and data and um, different different uh, resources like that on hormone levels and things like that so that they could give us an actual picture, accurate picture and help us to figure out the next steps that we needed to take.
So shortly before we got married, we ended up taking a class about the using the Creighton model. And then about six months to a year into our marriage, we also started using the Marquette method on top of that, tracking hormones. And using the combination of those two, we were able to bring that information to our doctor and then our doctor provided even more resources. One of the things that I struggled with when we first started this whole thing was how difficult the whole thing looked at in the first place. Like it, it seemed like it was super complicated. There was a lot of stuff going on with it. It turned out with all the resources that we had available to us and everything that we were using, apps, uh, different things on our phones, anything from like writing it down on pieces of paper to writing it over there. It's not that involved. It's, it's tracking and taking care of your wife and it's, it's not as daunting as it looks. It looks like a huge leviathan, like, oh, we have to take care of all of this, and this is a whole rigmarole that we have to go through. But it's, it's never been that. It's turned out to just be a routine thing that we've done in the background, and it's been super helpful. So it's not, it's not that complicated. In our Catholic faith, we believe that grace is God reaching out to us and us reaching back. And I think that that's a good way of thinking about NFP. It's that I'm reaching out to you and you're reaching back. And it's really, it's really a team effort of between you, me, and God of deciding how we want our family to look right now. And what are we ready for? What are we worried about? And it's just a really beautiful, it's a really beautiful piece of Catholic teaching that I really hope you take a look at.